All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is about 11 a.m. right now on the East Coast, and believe it or not, the stock market is green. Well, I guess the Dow's not green. The Dow's the only one that's down, but all the other indexes are green right now. We have the Russell up 0.5%, the NASDAQ is up 0.8%, the S&P's up a quarter of a percent, as we have the Dow again, barely red, it's down 0.1%, as the VIX is up over 1%, we have the VIX now back over 30 points. So we got to break down a lot in this video. We're going to go over some stocks that even though the markets, you know, the markets have not been doing well recently, some of the stocks we're going to break down today, they're looking pretty good. We got some news out of the first two stocks that we're going to break out. That's our uh, break, break down rather. That's causing them to break out. I mixed up my words there. So sit back, relax, guys. Cheers. Take a sip of your coffee. Do not forget to get your 15 stocks from Moomoo. Link down below with a $100 deposit. Each of those could be up to 2000 bucks. So if you like some free money and uh, you know you, you want to help out the channel as well, use those links down below and let's dive into the video. So right now what I'm noticing on SPY is we're starting to break out of these moving averages on the five-day, five-minute chart. And don't get it twisted, guys. Even though we're green right now and we're starting to get a break out of these moving averages, and now that I'm looking at it here on the five-day, we have a golden cross as well. Don't get it twisted. The bears are still in charge. I mean, look, 20-day chart, clearly bears are still in charge. Two-hour chart, four-hour chart. I mean, you guys know this at this point in time. But we are seeing a little bit of a relief rally as of now. And it doesn't look like it wants to slow down. I mean, here on the intraday chart, you guys can see we took out the highs from the pre-market and the highs from the close on Friday on SPY here. The highs were uh, 368 roughly on Friday close. And we hit over 370 this morning. We hit about 370 bucks and 30 cents. Now we're pulling back to about 368. And by the looks of it here on the intraday chart, looks like buyers are coming in. Looks like the uptrend is continuing, and we shall see. Maybe we go back to 370. Maybe we break out of there and uh, continue this little relief rally that we're seeing. Which right now, as of now, that's all it is. It's a relief rally. And to be honest, guys. I'd be very, very careful if you look at the 20-day chart. What we're noticing is we're still well under the 50 SMA and the 180 SMA here on SPY and on Triple Q. I mean, look at this, guys. So what we're noticing is this could be a bull trap. And I said that yesterday. I said that yesterday. And as of now, you know, it's it's Monday morning. This is what could be setting up. You know, sure, we might rally a little bit more. And did I not call out? I think on Friday we talked about how I thought the markets in general needed some sort of relief rally. If we continue this little rally, you know, maybe Triple Q gets to, it's at 278 now. Maybe it goes to 282, 285, right by the 180 SMA. I would not be surprised if sellers came in there like we saw last little relief rally we got, which was just a couple of days ago when Triple Q went from about 285 to roughly 295, then it cratered down to 272. So be very, very careful here, guys. Be very careful. And you can see, again, the same thing here on the 20-day chart when it comes to spies. So things are looking decent right now. Things are moving, but uh, it's it's most likely going to be a bull trap, in my humble opinion, guys. And of course, I'd love to know your thoughts, as always, in the comments. And if you want me to cover any specific stocks, whether it's a biotech, healthcare, you know, I, whatever kind of stock you want me to cover, I don't care. Any stock, let me know in the comments, drop me some ticker symbols, and I'll cover them throughout the day today. Make sure you guys do that. So, Let's go over what's moving right now. We got some crazy, well, I don't want to say crazy news, but let's just say good news. We got some good news out of Macau this morning, or maybe it was last night, whenever this freaking news came out, that's causing Wynn Resorts and Las Vegas Sands to completely explode. Las Vegas Sands right now, or actually, no, this is Wynn that I have pulled up here on the screen. It is up 14%, over 14% on the day. It's now touching 68 bucks a share. Las Vegas Sands, let's pull it up. It is up 13%. It is now at about 40 bucks a share. And what do these two stocks have in common here, guys, on the four-hour time frame? What do these two stocks have in common? Well, for Las Vegas Sands, it's at a multi-week resistance at 40 bucks. And guess what? Win Resorts is also at a multi-week resistance, not at 40 bucks, but at 68 bucks to 69 bucks, which this stock has struggled at this point. Forget multi-month or a uh, multi-week. This is a multi-month resistance. We haven't broken out of 68 70 bucks on Win Resorts since the beginning of May. We're talking four months ago. So Win Resorts, Las Vegas Sands, 
We're getting very bullish price action right now on news that Macau will be lifting COVID-19 travel restrictions. And what have I said time and time again about these uh, these casino stocks, guys? They have a lot of exposure, not only here in the U.S., but in China, in Macau. And obviously, these stocks have been suppressed because of their China exposure. Forget about the COVID-19 travel restrictions, but... Just in general, the fact that, I mean, you guys have seen the Chinese stocks, Alibaba, Tencent, you know, Baidu, JD, these got hit aggressively, very aggressively because of, the, you know, the, the risk of investing um, in Chinese companies, the C, uh, CCP and stuff like that. And because when, and, you know, Las Vegas Sands, even though they're, I guess, American companies, um, they're 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 at they're at risk. I mean, maybe not being uh, delisted or anything like that, but they're at risk because a lot of their business. I forget exactly on a percentage basis for when in Las Vegas Sands, but it's a big percentage. A lot of their business is over there, um, you know, in China. So we're seeing the kind of and, and really the, the, these lockdowns, the, the restrictions, travel restrictions, right, have been hurting. Of course, China, but obviously businesses in Macau like Wynn and Las Vegas Sands. So now that we're getting these travel restrictions lifted, we're starting to see this being priced in, right? Maybe it's not fully priced in. Maybe there is still a little bit of concern. Maybe if they put the travel restrictions back on, uh, but... I could see a breakout coming in the next couple of you know days, maybe even weeks here on Wynn Resorts. So for that reason, and Las Vegas Sands, so for that reason, I'm going to set my alert. Mark is at or above 70, and I feel like this catalyst could be what actually sends Wynn to break out, finally. And again, I just put my alert at 70 bucks. We shall see what it does. And Las Vegas Sands, LVS, let's pull it up. This is right around, like I said, 40 Excuse me, it's right under 40 bucks now. Um, you know, I'm going to put my alert maybe at 41. Mark is at or above 41 bucks a share. If that point breaks, we might be making a move mid high 40s. And this catalyst again could be what sends this uh, skyrocketing. And and, and keep, in, uh, keep in mind, guys, earnings are coming up in about a month for Las Vegas Sands, middle end of October. And we have win. Probably same time period, or actually, no, they reported back in, when was this? Um, yeah, about a month and a half ago, beginning of August. So their earnings are going to be coming up probably in November at some point. Uh, you, know, you know, so yeah, if, if, if this, tra if these travel restrictions, you know, amplify the, the revenue numbers, the earnings numbers, and we get better guidance for management, <laughs> You know that's that that could lead these stocks to go up even higher, and who knows? I mean, these earnings again are coming out in a couple of weeks, so we might rally into the earnings, maybe even higher after. We shall see. This is all speculation, by the way, guys. It's all speculation. I mean, nothing is guaranteed. Nobody knows exactly what's going to happen. And as always, you got to do your own research. But these are just you know thoughts that I have right now, and you know, kind of my opinions on the charts here on Win Las Vegas Sands and where I can see things. Moving forward, so the next stock here, and by the way, if you guys are finding value, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, really helps me out here, you know, overall in the YouTube algorithm. Tesla, guys, Tesla is starting to see some buying pressure at this big, big level of support on the four-hour time frame. You guys see it here, right by the uptrend, we have clear, clear support, um, you know, right where we are now, 270, mid-270s, now Tesla's up 1.2%, starting to push, um, you know, 280, and it's not fully breaking breaking out quite yet, but you guys know how fast this can move. You know, we're at, again, 280 right now. We actually got, let me, let me see on the intraday, did we get even higher than that? Yeah, we got mid-280s earlier today. So if we go up and retest that intraday high, it's at about 283. I might as well set my alert there uh, right now. Maybe a little bit above it, 284. If we start getting above that point, guys, do not be surprised if Tesla just magically gets back to 300 like that. I mean, it's very, very possible that that happens. Um, and of course, we have a big resistance at about 315. I mentioned that time and time again on the channel. Um, and 315 has been a big resistance since the beginning of August for this stock. So we're watching it, guys. This week, 280, 285, that's a big resistance coming up um, on Tesla. We got to, got to watch it. So overall, those are three stocks that I wanted to cover in this little quick morning video. And we broke down the markets and kind of went over my thoughts. And now look at this. The Dow's down 0.4%. 
It's only about 10 minutes after I started the video, guys. We have the S&P now in the red, down a quarter of a percent. Russell down, or actually, no, the Russell's still up 0.1%, but a lot of these indexes are coming down. You know, throughout the course of this video, guys, we're starting to go red. I mean, look at the intraday. Uh, Triple Q was up 0.8% when I started. Now it's at only up a quarter percent, so things are starting to sell off. It looks like the bull trap, it's here. I mean, this this very well could be it. And make sure to subscribe to the channel because later we're going to be making more content. We have two more videos coming up today, and uh, you're not going to want to miss those. So make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, get your 15 stocks from Moomoo with a $100 deposit. Link down below, and your 12 stocks from Weeble with any amount deposited. And with that being said, guys, cheers. That's it for the video. Keep crushing the market. Stay safe out there. Stay safe out there, guys. I'll see you later. Peace out.